This is Kenna, and while she looks really good right now, just a short time ago, boy, it was a different story. We have a warning to our viewers. The photos you're about to see are very graphic. It was shocking. A stray dog found by animal control officers with horrible burns on her back. Her prognosis was grim. But fortunately for this pup, a nearby dog rescue organization immediately stepped up to bring this young Springer Spaniel mix into their program. I was at work, it was a Saturday evening, about eight o'clock, seven o'clock at night, and I got a text from a rescue coordinator at a local shelter saying we have an emergency, can you take this dog? So we lined it up so we could get her the very next day and get her to our vet. We found candle wax on her, but um, it wasn't just from a candle. I mean, somebody lit her on fire. They named this still very happy girl, Kenna. And after her initial vet exam, Kenna was placed with a critical care foster home to give her a sterile environment and the extra attention she'd need. And she thrived. I was so surprised because seeing it, it just, oh, it, it made me hurt the injuries visible into her, it was like nothing. She just seemed like, I know she was in pain, but she was just happy and loving despite all the injuries. As with all burn wounds, infection is the biggest danger. Kenna was put on strong pain medicine and antibiotics. Major antibiotics, um, debridement of the skin. It, it was just to get all the dead stuff out. They shaved her, it just scraped it all off. And once they shaved her, we thought there was only maybe 30% of her back involved, it ended up being neck to tail. It was quite the process for this precious girl. Um, they would clean her um, her wounds, and I, every time I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, because they would scrub them and disinfect it so she wouldn't get infection, and then they would um, put like a salve on it and then laser. So we had to go in every, yeah, about three or four days, and they would also laser her knee because she had, a, I think, an ACL, still has an ACL tear that is going to require surgery. With her burn wounds healing, that torn ACL will be repaired soon, and she's currently settling into her new foster home for this last surgery. Once she's healed, she'll be placed up for adoption. With rising vet bills, the rescue has been collecting online donations. But high medical expenses do not slow down rescues like this one from doing the right thing for our furry best friends like Kenna. It's because we know we have such great supporters and people who donate and, you know, we'll find the money somehow. We just can't let an animal suffer. Yeah, we want to help them all, and, but when we get a case like Kenna's, how can you say no to that? A dog like this that doesn't have anybody to speak for them, if she stayed at the shelter, it would be definite euthanasia. You know, she wouldn't have a chance. Um, they, don't, they couldn't afford to do that. And so, you, we, I mean, every dog we pull from a shelter, we're saving their life. But when you get a dog like Kenna, you know that she was at, you know, it, it was just, if we didn't take her, she would have been put down. So. Um, the dogs like that really touch us. Well, Kenna has a beautiful life ahead of her because good people stepped up and did the right thing because every fuzzy soul matters. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Buffy Pine.